Today's topic is erythema infectiosum. Erythema infectiosum, also known as fifth disease, is a viral infection characterized by a distinctive red rash on the face caused by parovirus B19. This virus, parovirus B19, only infects humans, and it is different from the parovirus that infects dogs and cats. So the infection cannot be transmitted from a pet or vice versa. Fifth disease is common in children who are preschool or school age, but can also occur in adults. In children, the condition is mild and requires little treatment. However, in adults, the condition can be serious. Fifth disease is a highly contagious illness, and it is most contagious a few days before the rash occurs. Children usually don't spread the infection once they have the rash. The name fifth disease is coined from the standard list of historical classifications of common rash-causing illnesses in children, including measles, first, scarlet fever, second, rubella, third, Duke's disease, fourth, and roseola, sixth. Causes Fifth disease is caused by the human parovirus B19. This virus spreads the same way as a cold virus, often through respiratory secretions, such as saliva, nasal mucus, sputum, usually when an infected person coughs or sneezes, and through hand-to-hand -hand contact, or by touching the hands of an infected person and then putting the hands into the mouth. This infection can also be transmitted by touching an object, such as toys or bottles, that has been touched by an infected person and then putting that in the mouth. Parovirus infection can also spread through blood. An infected mother can pass the virus to her unborn baby. Fifth disease can be very dangerous to people who have chronic anemia, such as sickle cell disease. This infection in people with anemia may stop the production of red blood cells, leading to anemia crisis. A weakened immune system, such as seen in people with HIV infection and those undergoing cancer treatment. Symptoms. Symptoms may vary depending on the age of the affected individual. In children, symptoms include fever, runny nose, headache, upset stomach, a bright facial rash, usually on both cheeks. The rash may extend to the arms, thigh, trunk, buttocks. In adults, the most prominent symptom is joint soreness, lasting days to weeks, but it can last for months or even longer. The most commonly affected joints are the wrists, hands, knees, and ankles. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis can be made based on symptoms. Doctors can make a diagnosis based on the distinctive rash on the face and body. People who are at risk of severe complications may need blood tests. Treatment. In most cases, fifth disease is a mild illness that resolves on its own without any medication. Ask the doctor for advice about easing discomfort if your child's rash is itchy. For fever or joint pain, the doctor may recommend acetaminophen. Restrain from giving your child aspirin. Those with severe anemia may need hospitalization and receive a blood transfusion. Antibodies via immune globulin injections may be given to treat the infection in people with weakened immune systems. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.